continue to work on this piece next. Um, here's the picture we're using. It's rather a nice one um, with these two girls behind the window giving another dimension to the work, totally. Um, the, leaded, the leaded glass across it and uh, then these two girls. Again, it's all within this theme at the moment of secrets, of people talking personally to each other or things going on between relationships between people. But in this case, I rather like it because of the distortions between panes of glass. What I have got a problem with, though, is this background. There's a lot of wall there, so I want to play around with the abstract qualities of this uh, as well as then working up the, uh, the glass on the surface. So I'm going to work the background up first, play around with that, and then finally come back to the, the glass and the abstract qualities of the facets of these leaded um, strips that are going to di divide it up. And they aren't directly squared across the canvas. Deliberately they've been into perspective slightly, just to give it that slight distortion of dimension as well. Again, I don't know which directions I'm going with it. I might add, I might change, I might... I don't know quite, quite what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to play with the masking tape at the end to get these sharper edges. Um, but we'll just see how it develops, shall we? Use my brush to mix up the paint. I want it fairly liquid for this job. And we're going to be using a, a nice warm brown first of all and adding colours into that I think. Add a little bit of orange and pink to that. Let's, let's see what sort of colours we get doing this now. I say this is quite new to me, I don't know what I'm going to be doing here apart from a fairly abstract piece at the moment. So I need to cover this. Canvas first of all. Like I say, I want to be fairly abstract with it. Hands there, so I need to paint that in some detail later. We'll just work around it at the moment. And let's have some play with some colour here. I want to start say being a bit more abstract with it and I don't want to just stick with the plain colours that are on the photograph. Your hand actually has two, so not do any harm to where the hand is under there. To come right through there, just glaze over the hand with it and the arm. Let the colour glow through afterwards. Trying something new. And as I said, it's only a cheap canvas, so what's the harm in experimenting? If we don't try new things, we're not going to advance at all, so quite often we have to come in and try new things. Actually this pink is coming through this lighter colour here quite a bit, so I'm going to come right through there. Right, I want to start getting a, a lighter orange mix now across here. Far more attractive. I don't want to be painting all the brickwork in, but I do want to try and get the feeling of these this glow of the stonework behind the brickwork behind. A little bit of blue into that now. A bit more white. We'll start to get a background colour down here. Blowing through. A bit of cerulean into that as well. Get that mixed up. Bring this through here. And I'm going to put a lighter colour over this soon. I want this blue just showing through. It's got to dry off a bit. Right down through. And this lovely overlapping, that's quite fun. Now, this time I'm going to make a slightly more orange red mix. So I'll take some cadmium red. A little bit of orange into that. A bit more orange over in a minute. Brush to one side and try and get this to really pick up some of that orange red. Back onto the canvas again and hold this stripe here. And this lovely red glass that comes all the way down through there. 
So we want to keep the abstract quality of this as well, you see. these colours do a fraction more. And the other way around, a bit of purple into that colour. Got a nice strong purple. And a little mixture of the yellow and red with it. Just a tint down in places some of this red. Down here especially. Coming across some of this darker in places. Be sure I'm not going to curve on that. It's difficult when I'm working at an angle like this so you can see what I'm doing. Because I might get a slight curve. I'm going to start to work some of these darks over the hair as well. I'm going to make some light blue now. Going through. Do some vertical strokes. To get the feeling of the vertical section of the wall there. Start to get the light coming down her fingers even into, into the foot. The same on this hand I suspect. onto this as well. Just to link it. up here but it could be quite useful so I'll bring a bit of it in there. Alright, I'm coming to gradually lighten the thing up now, so I'm wanting a bit more white. Using a heavy body white, so it takes a bit of getting going on the roller.
bit of cream into it. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre to this, not too much. Just want a bit more creaminess. It's still white, but it's got a cream tint to it. have to use a brush yet, I'm still playing around with this lighter colours of this. What I'm doing really is just pulling out the highlights, aren't I? And I want it to be a little bit blurry behind here anyways if it's reflecting through from the through the windows. I think we've almost done enough to warrant to get dry and thinking about some of the, the blacks now. Not too much light in the background here, just a little bit just to work around these, these edges. Alright at this stage I'm just going to start masking taping um, some of the darker areas, all of them, just to get some sharp edges. Don't need all of them by any means yet. Just give us an idea how it's going to come out, won't it? Okay, now it's time to take off these bits of masking tape and we'll see if it's a nice sharp edge which we have. So we're starting to get these nice sharp black lines that I want to be letting in the windows. Alright, next I want to redraw out where these leaded lines are coming again to start working in and around um, these areas of paint at the edge of the panes of glass where they're slightly distorted. 19. Two nines are 18. So now this is a China graph pencil you can see and uh, it should make a much darker mark. Let's just test that on here. It's a lovely dark mark so I can bring that. But things with China graph pencils they don't come off so what I've got to watch here is that um, the ones with the triangles, of course, uh, stop part way. So I shan't be going all the way down here because there's one down here. But what I just want to do at the moment is just mark it up. It doesn't completely level off even when it comes right up here. But now we've got to get these about equal. So if I'm going to do that, I've got to work out one, two, three equal parts going up to there. Make sure this is square to the side of the canvas. Bring it across from here, that's correct. So now I want them on this way. Let's see if I can get that angle about right. I've already measured these ones as you know, so I shouldn't be far off. Now we'll take that, make sure the paper's level with the top. One and a half down here, should be there. Let's see if that angle's going to be right. In which case that length there is 2, it should be 2 to here, and that is correct. So if I go from there to there, first of all I've got to make sure this is on the right line. There's going to be a slight distortion in it because of the angles. Now, most of the rest are going to be almost the same. They'll, they'll flip from there to there. So what I've got to do next is cut a piece of card to fit that. It's not going to be absolutely perfect, but just near enough to get the scale right. Now that way it was that way up, so down here it reverses, it comes this way up. So down here I need to be putting it at that angle. It's a bit of technical drawing amongst all this freedom, but uh, not to worry. There we go, so that's the diamond down there. And <clears throat> on the line here, that way up this time. If 
In reality, depending on the size of this window, the ones down lower might be smaller than the ones up higher because we're closer up to the top. But for the purpose of this painting, not necessary. Here, that way up. There we go, that's ready for me now to start painting in and around again. Right, now I'm going to work to a half inch filbert and start to tint up and work up some of these more detailed colours and washes in the background. Let's start with the hair here as an example. A bit more colour coming in there. To keep it simple and fairly simple brush strokes, but I want smaller brushes as well. So I want this lighter colour coming in here of the uh, pinks way that that light comes down the side of that there I'm starting to get the light reflecting against the um, leading here now we know these acrylics are going to sink slightly so I'm going to paint a little bit lighter than I need just to get that working so that when it sinks back it will still be in existence. And then it goes almost into a light blue there, so a little bit of cerulean blue and, and white. I've already mixed that a little bit with the paint I've put on, but now back to my pink. And we'll really try to find this bit of light colour that's coming down here into the fingers. The same here on over a little bit stronger in places for warmth. My mouth just around this area. So the tummy here is just showing a bit, so we'll have a little bit more light just painted around there. Now take a little bit of the light blue and just indicator curls just a little bit here it's a much lighter orange just there now the hair comes around here now where we need to just pick into these darks a little in the background try and get the drawing of a head just a bit better I want to start hinting at these beautiful blues that are happening down here. From the turquoise colours. So I'll play against the warms around it. Now I want to start glazing up these lighter colours around the I'm going to do very dark shortly. I'm going to start with this lovely idea of looking through these areas. Now I'm just going to take a larger brush. And just mix a thin glaze of magenta, very very thin, just want to wash over this slightly. Sort of feeling around these window panes just a little more. Right, I think we're about ready to go ahead and um, 
play with the, the blacks now on top of this just a little bit more light into here so I'm going to tape up all of these parts bearing in mind that I mustn't come right through those I paint that on neat no water at all just straight down with black paint onto that I don't normally use black, but in this case uh, I want a very dark sooty effect against the colour so that my darks that are in the painting will actually be more colourful. Now, hopefully these bits that I painted just now around the lead will uh, look like light that's just reflecting on the edge of the glass. I'll let that dry off and then we can do the cross ones. start to see the effect we're going to get behind the black. There we go. And there we are ready to put the ones going across. So in fact I'm only painting this part up to here. And there here. Right. Diagonal. I want to come back and just tart up in between the diamonds where I made a mess and forgot not to paint. Now I just want to bring out some of these lovely colours that I've lost a little bit. Okay, I think we finished this one. Um, just want to zoom in and let you have a good look at it. Mm -hmm.